Your Business Podcast with Frank Furness. Hey, this is Frank, and what a year we've had with COVID. But you know, the interesting thing is all of my financial services clients that I speak to and that I work with around the world are all telling me they're having an amazing time. They're able to get through to more clients, speak to more clients and writing more business than they've ever written before. So every cloud has a silver lining. Listen, by now, I hope you've listened to all of the previous episodes on NLP with my great friend Ian Halsell. And what I'm going to be doing now for the next six months is going through my program. In fact, it was a pre-recorded program that I'm going to share with you. It used to be part of a package that I sold for $247, an audio package. It's yours for free. So please tune in every week and listen to a new episode. Right, the next thing we're going to do is identify no more than three points that you want the audience to remember, and then build your presentation around these three points. It would almost be as if you've just finished your talk, towards the end of the talk you're saying, there's three things that I want you to take away today, and these are point one, point two, point three. So think about those three points. What you've also got to do is then tailor those points to the audience's technical level, information needs and interests. To give you an example, I've just returned from doing a road show with sporting champions. Now this is a fantastic initiative in the United Kingdom and it's all about the sporting legends going back into the schools and speaking to the school children about how great sport is, getting back to doing exercise, health, living a healthy lifestyle. So I went, uh, this is the second time this year that I've worked with sporting champions and we did a road show at various places. So I'm speaking to these sporting legends and their talks are going to be going in to speak to the school children. Now remember these are Olympians, these are Paralympians, these are people that have really achieved fantastic things in sport and they're now telling their stories to the children. If we have to think about tailoring the points to the audience technical levels, information or interest needs, Think about the different schools that they might be going into. They might be going into a junior school where it's all five-year-olds. Well, obviously, the level of their talk is going to be very different to them going into a college where they've got 18 and 19-year-olds. So you've got to tailor your talk to the audience's needs. Once again, with myself in sales, I try to look at the industry they're in, how long they've been in the industry, how crude up they are, and then try to tailor it again to what they're looking for. Right, let's move on to the next step. The next step is really to determine the amount of time you've got available for the presentation. Also to match your outline to your objectives and then introduce the key messages and develop each point. Once again, a lot of the times I'm doing a combination now between a keynote and a small workshop session. I work with a lot of chief executive groups and they have a three-hour workshop session. Well, with coffee time, it's normally about two sessions of an hour and 15 minutes. So it's longer than a keynote because they want lots and lots of information. They also want some interaction with them. So in planning that, it's going to be very different to planning my normal keynote, which is 45 minutes to an hour. They're going to have very different objectives. And they're going to have a lot of different key points. Because if I'm doing a keynote, there's going to be a lot more entertainment. There's going to be hardly any PowerPoint, except from photographs, videos, that kind of thing. But if I'm doing a small workshop session, which is two to three hours, I'm going to put a lot more into the PowerPoint. I'm going to bring a lot more points in and have a lot more on my handouts. Hey, yes, it's me back again, Frank. I'm your sponsor and uh, I want to tell you about a series I've put together. It's actually been two years in the making. I have created the biggest online course for financial advisors. If you go and take a look at www.salesstrategiesforadvisors.com, salesstrategiesforadvisors.com, please go and take a look at our sales page there. You'll see the course has 281 videos 106 audios, 12 ebooks, and 7 sets of scripts. And I promise you, you will make 10 times your investment at least in this course. There are so many ideas, every kind of strategy you can think of, new things added all the time. 
And for actually listening to the podcast, you can actually get 50% off the course. Please don't tell anyone about it. But if you go in to the checkout where it says coupon code, all you do is type in 50OFF50OFF and you will immediately get a 50% off the course on the one-off payment. Or of course, you can opt to pay $29 a month. So hey, this is Frank. I look forward to seeing you the other side and enjoy my online course.